My name's Gordon Summers and I'm the Chief Engraver at the Royal Mint. The Britannia bullion coin has been around for a number of years now. It's established itself as the British bullion coin. Um, it's a particular favourite design of mine, designed by Philip Nathan. But as time's gone on, that coin's had to progress from a very simple design to something that's more suitable for the current economic environment. The challenges with redesigning this coin are really about how do we make it something current and something that's resistant to um, fakes and forgeries. Um, the design itself is very strong. In fact, there's a part of the design, the texture on the design, that's only now with the advent of using lasers that we're able to see that texture coming through. And that's a security feature in itse itself. The way this is developed is it's iterative, really. We've gone through a period of adding textures to bullion to coins to make them more difficult to reproduce. But then we needed to make a step change, something that was very deliberate in a security feature. So we started off with what we've got and we worked with a small team to look at how we might improve. The constraint on working with precious metals is you don't want to add anything directly to it. You've got to work with a native metal. So we needed to work on something that used the reflective uh, properties of um, the metal and also something which used our current technology to its best advantage. There are a number of uh, security features on this coin that combine to make it stronger. So if we applied a single element, that would be good, but it wouldn't be as good as combining several together. So what we have on this coin is we have a latent feature, which is a feature that's been around for a very long time, probably oh, in coinage terms, not long perhaps, but for 30 years or so. With our new technology now, we can recreate those latent features at a much higher level of accuracy, um, a much better surface finish, which makes them work so much better. Additionally, we've got micro features, in this case, micro text, so those are very fine features where people have tried to um, replicate coins in the past that found a difficulty with the resolution. So by putting a higher resolution feature in, that makes it very difficult to reproduce. We have um, what we call in surface animation. So we're using the play of light across the surface of the coin to make it appear to move. So in the background, we've got this new um, technique, which allows us to create a kind of movement in the background of the coin. An additional feature is a sort of an improvement on the design as well. So we're now using tincture lines. These are lines that have traditionally been used to represent colour in a field that you aren't actually allowed to put colour onto. So we've got vertical and horizontal lines which allow us to represent the red and the blue of the Union flag. Um, but again, these are high resolution um, lines. They're very difficult to reproduce. The Britannia bullion coin, having been around for the length of time it has, has been very popular. What we want people to feel when we get this new coin is a little bit more secure about the, the, the coin they have is genuine, that the metal value in it is as it's represented on the coin. We want to, to make it very difficult for anybody to reproduce, but we want it to be a beautiful object as well. And I think we've managed to achieve all of those things together on this particular coin.